big problem. 15 to 20 inches very easily could fall in portions of Mississippi as well as uh, Louisiana. So that's where things stand now. Those are the hurricane warning flags. I'd like to go out now to the appropriately named Waveland, Mississippi, to Jacob Wyckoff. And Jacob, uh, you are in kind of the thick of it. Tell us what you have seen so far and what it is like there currently with, uh, you know, the, the people around you. Well, as you can see, uh, the, I'm right on Beach Boulevard here in um, Waveland, Mississippi, and the, the waves are crashing over Beach Boulevard, and we're telling people to stay away from uh, driving on this, but they, they don't seem to be listening to our warnings. In fact, we have reports of cars that are stuck a couple feet of water right down the road, so uh, this is a pretty dangerous situation here in Waveland. Jacob, uh, I'm curious, with the position of where Isaac is right now, it's still a little bit offshore. Are you seeing the winds parallel to the coast where you are there in Mississippi, or are they have, have they started to turn a little bit more? Yeah, it is starting to get a little more parallel. In the morning, it was more northeast, and we're starting to see a more uh, basically east and uh, more north uh, wind. It's really pushing all the waves, and the storm surge is really starting to come on. We don't expect the worst of the storm to be in this area until probably uh, 11 p.m. tonight, and that's where we can expect storm surges of up to 15 feet in this area. It, and, and, Jacob, uh, that was actually going to be one of my questions because I know heavy rain is going to be a problem where you are, but storm surge also, I mean, no, this is a Category 1 storm, not nearly as big as Katrina, but a lot slower moving, which maybe is of even more concern for residents. Yeah, absolutely, and one of the things that is kind of indicative of this storm is its low pressure. I think it got down to around 970 millibars, which is a strong Category 2 storm in, on most days, but this one just didn't have the winds to pack the punch. Some of those central pressures are really pushing those waves up, and, and that's really going to cause the storm surge to, to begin uh, to, to, I guess, overflow some of the streets here in Mississippi. Well, Jacob, we uh, really appreciate your, uh, I guess, uh, in-person look at what's happening there in uh, Waveland, Mississippi. We're actually going to try to connect with uh, Jacob uh, as we go through the time frame that this storm is off the coast and then on the coast. Jacob, again, uh, stay safe, and thanks for your uh, eyewitness reporting. Adam, uh, we will try to keep you up to date on the storm. Of course, Mike Daniels is in at 5, where you can track the latest on our website, koaa.com. It's fascinating.